Hey guys, what's going on? Well, just got a nice XDS 5000 Model 1 in. Only problem is it has an advanced system key lock on it. So I'm going to have to send that in, get it upgraded. I've already got that arranged. This is going to be a Model 3. Uh, these model, I've got these in VHF. I'll give you a running, uh, I've done a little bit of inventory and I'll just go ahead and sometimes it's easier just to tell you what I have, uh, what I have in stock uh, at the moment. Uh, it changes. This is a UHF and this is an S split. This is a 4 meg, but still a very good one. And the S splits are very, very nice. I've got a couple of those. This happens to also be an S split. This is a 1.5. This is going to be going out. Uh, this is an 8 meg. You, tell, you can tell the 8 megs. Uh, you can, these have like little smiley face grills. These have, uh, yeah, I don't know what you call them, but a uh, little more straightened grills than the curve. But this is an 8 meg. Uh, I just picked up another one uh, tonight. It's a 1.5 in VHF, uh, fully tagged, and uh, it's an R. Uh, so, what I've got, I've got uh, in VHF. This will just be a, a tentative uh, inventory. Uh, XTS 5000 Model 3s in VHF. They're all mint. They're all uh, all have 19 firmware and all are FPP. I've got four of those in stock. Uh, the 800 megahertz uh, Model 3 units that are XTS 5000s. They're flashed with 9600 baud. All of them have brand new housings on them. And uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to keep brand new housings on all of them. I may lower the price and sell a couple of them because those housings are getting a little difficult to get a hold of. But anyway, uh, if, if it really comes down to it and you know whoever wants to buy them wants a new housing on it, I can make it happen. Uh, I've got a six pack of those and they're all flashed with 9600 baud, the firmware's 19, uh, very good units. In the Q-Split I've got, uh, let's see, two of them that are Model 3 XDS 5000s. They've got new housings on them and uh, this happens to be one of those, I believe one of those two, yeah. And that's going to have a new housing and that'll be converted. So that should be done in a week. Uh, I'll have two Q-Split XDS 5000 Model 3s uh, with 19 firmware and FPP and they'll be mint. Uh, The Model 2 XTS 5000s, I've got four of those, they're brand new in the box. Uh, they've got 9600 baud trunking and uh, they're very good units, they're brand new. I sold, I, I had about 17, I've sold all but four, so I've still got four of those left over. Uh, and I think you can find those on eBay, I do have those listed. Uh, what? What I'm giving you is what's not listed yet, uh, with the exception of what I just told you on the Model 2s. Uh, uh, the XTS 5000, I've got an S split, uh, brand new housing, 19 firmware, and uh, it's talk wave tagged and it's been on Narrowflex, it's got 19 firmware, and it does have FPP. 
It's one of the few I can count how many S splits that have FPP in the flash that I've seen anywhere. Uh, I can count those on one hand. In the last four months, I can count those on one hand with three fingers left over. So they're very, very difficult to get. Uh, let's see here. I've got XTS 2500s. Uh, I've got three of those. They all have the latest, latest firmware on them. Uh, I believe this is a VHF, yeah. Uh, 19 firmware flash for FPP. I've got three of those in stock. Uh, everybody wanted them, and everybody, uh, I'm going to have, uh, I'm starting to carry the 2500 line. What I'm trying to do is I'm just trying to gear up for the summer, and uh, I've built up my inventory to where I can accommodate pretty much anything now. Uh, oh, I do have an XTS 2500 uh, in 900 megahertz. Uh, that one's going to be done in about two weeks. Uh, those radios are very, very rare to get. They didn't make 900 megahertz in an XTS 5000. They did make it with... Uh, oh, and that FPP is actually going to you can I'm having the work done and the works that 900 megahertz is going to be FPP and it will do the ham bands so if you want a killer radio that will do ham and you want a professional Motorola uh, XTS 2500 with FPP that will do the ham frequencies and the regular 900 megahertz frequencies uh, that I've got, I've got one. Uh, those things are very, very rare. You hardly ever see them. Uh, I haven't really heard of very many of them out there, but I do have one of those. I mean, I've got one in every band split now. Uh, 900 is a very difficult band split to find. You'll never find it again. It'll be difficult if you do. Uh, you can find them in the lower tier radios, but in 2500s and 5000s, they're just almost impossible to find. That's going to be a Model 3, and it'll have a brand new housing on it, and uh, 8 meg, be beautiful. And so I've got that one. Uh, let's see here, as far as the Q splits in the 2500s. Uh, I've got three of those and they've got 19 this is one of the UHFs here the Q splits 19 firmware FPP in the flash and uh, Q52, Q53 and uh, 19 firmware I mean they're Oh, and 8 megs. Uh, let me see what else. Uh, on the S splits, I do have a couple S splits. Uh, this one's going out to get... Uh, I'm going to rehouse this to a Model 3. I've got new keypads. All the, all the conversions that I'm doing, I'm getting my parts from Jeff at Sandy Communications. He's an authorized Motorola dealer. Those parts are brand new. They're not used. I'm not using used parts on any of my radios. I never have and I ne never will. Uh, the parts that go into these radios are brand new and they're licensed Motorola products. So there, there'll be brand new keypads and brand new keypad rubber on all of them. Uh, everything that I'm getting, I'm spending a lot of money. I've got a lot of money tied up in this gear. Uh, but at the same time, it's worth it to, to be able to offer, you know, my customers the very best of what uh, of what's out there, and I'm getting to the point to where I can do that now. Uh, so I've got two of those. Uh, so I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I believe it's I'll have eight 
2500s. Uh, three of them will be VHF. Uh, three of them will be VHF Q splits, or I mean UHF Q splits. Two of them will be UHF S splits, range two, 450 to 520. Uh, and one of them will be the 900 that will do the handband. All Model 3s, all with brand new housings, all with brand new keypads, keypad rubber, keypad hardware, everything. Uh, let's see here. Oh, as far as the XDVA units, uh, I do have, if you need XDVAs, I have those. They're complete units. Uh, they've all been tested out. I've got 10 of those with uh, display mics. Three of those, oh, they also come with, uh, with the speakers for the XDVA and the speaker cable. They're complete units. I'm going to throw in our RF adapters with them. You get one RF adapter. It'll be a whole kit. You'll get the XDVA. You'll get the, the display mic. You'll get the bracket. And you'll get the, the power cable that goes out of it. Uh, the cable's about that long, so you've got a good lead uh, to hook to. And uh, so you have a speaker, you have the XDVA, you have the display mic, and you'll have an RF adapter. That should wind up, pretty much wind up the whole kit. Oh, and the bracket to mount it with. Uh, I do have brackets that are brand new that are coming in, but that'll equal out to be 10, uh, 10 XDVAs. Uh, that I do have available. Those are ready for immediate sale. Uh, I do have extra XDVA mics, the the display mics and the palm mics. Uh, I probably got, I don't know, three palm mics and uh, I don't know, probably three spare uh, XDVA display mics. Uh, impressed chargers. I've got Right now I've got two new, well one is brand new and one is in mint condition. Uh, they're 3.90 gang chargers, they're six gang chargers, and uh, they've, they're they beautiful. Uh, I've got those listed on eBay. I also have four uh, Impress gang chargers, and those four Impress gang chargers are mint and uh, they weren't cheap by any means. Uh, they do have, all of them, all four of them have the LCD displays. So I've got four with LCD displays all in all six bays. So six times four, there you go. Uh, all of them will be upgraded to 3.90 firmware and uh, those will be ready probably by, I would say probably by Sunday or Monday. Not this Sunday, or I mean not tonight and not tomorrow, but uh, in a week. I should have those done uh, and they'll be ready for sale. Uh, let's see here. Impress single chargers. I've got them, uh, they're in mint condition, near mint condition. Uh, 3.90 firmware. I've got 19 of those in stock. Uh, let's see what else. The high activity, high activity leather swivel cases. I've got 23 of those in stock. I've got about uh, I don't know, probably 75 or 80 uh, of the RF adapters in stock. If you need those, uh, let's see. The remote speaker mics that you use for the 5000s and the XDVA with the RF adapters. I've still got two of those left. I've sold, I don't know, eight, and I've still got a couple left. Uh, the PMMN 4051A uh, mics that replace Jedi's, I've got four of those. Uh, the remote speaker mics with the jack on the connector. I've got four of those in stock. I believe I've got four of those in stock. And that's pretty much winds it up. Uh, 
for the inventory. So if you need that gear, you can get a hold of me. Get a hold of me uh, through my inbox. These radios aren't going to go cheap. These radios are going to go for the price that the price I have them set for. I paid a lot of money, and I've got a lot of money invested in this gear. And the upgrades that I'm getting done are getting done professionally. Everything's been tuned on an Aeroflex. There's no dicking around on these units. They'll be they'll be absolutely uh, everything you want in those units. So I don't know, probably 26 radios, uh, all XTS, and they're all going to be uh, Model 3s. So uh, in both 2500 and 5000s. So I'm getting ready to unleash those within the next couple weeks. Uh, you can get a hold of me through my email or you can get a hold of me through YouTube. But keep in mind these radios are going to go for right, well, it, it, it depends. They're all going to be, uh, they're all going to be over 900 bucks. And I've got a lot of money tied up in these radios. I didn't get them cheap. And when you when you start factoring in, you know, accessories, accessories, the keypads, the keypad rubber, the belt clips, the mic clip attachments, the batteries, price those out, see how much they cost, uh, the housings, all that. It all costs a lot of money. And uh, yeah, you can throw a radio together and, you know, do it in a backyard garage type style. These aren't done that way. These are done right. And uh, they're going to be very, very good. Uh, there's no excuses with any of them. They're all in mint condition and they will be. Uh, I've got to get a couple conversions done. Once those conversions are done, uh, everything will be ready to move. And that's pretty much it. If you need the XTVAs, if you need a couple, I, I should have a couple mounting brackets left over. If you need those for the XTVAs, give me a shout and I'll see what I can do. Uh, I may go ahead and buy two more XTVAs. It depends on how quickly and how well they sell. I still may grab two more and have a dozen. Uh, but they'll have display mics and they'll have the, the speakers that go with them. And they'll come with RF adapters. I, I've got complete kits. So I've been very busy working on this and it's taken a lot of my time and it's taken a lot of money and you know like I said you know you can get a radio that looks like it's been kicked down an alley or and you know if it's questionable just like you know on the 5000 you know they look real good when they're on eBay but if they're you know advanced system key lock you have to send that uh, to a technician who has the depot tools to unlock it and you know when you do that you know factor in a cost of about 90 bucks on top of what you paid for the radio uh, I'm getting a phone call so I'm gonna have to wind this up take it easy guys later on